look in the fucking mirror and ask yourself am i human excellence Am, am I? Do I look like it? You can say that you change, but when you really change, everything will change. So my number one goal through today is to tell you how to become successful. Okay, all right guys, so number one, everybody have a seat. Here's what we're gonna do. My number one goal is the next like, 30 minutes, I just want to bring as much value to you as I can, and I want you to do me a favor. Winners look in the mirror, own their shit. Losers give away the power to change something and don't fix it. Does anybody, if you're going to take notes, right? Like, if you want to, it's up to you, right? I do. Be a fucking winner. Now, I want to tell you something about your phone for a minute. The, the number one thing in this world that is the most important thing is what gets your attention. Do you guys agree? Everybody says the most important thing in your life is time. Bull fucking shit. Okay, listen, you can get 30 years and be distracted and I can get one year and pay attention to the right shit and I can dust your ass. You guys feel me? Okay, listen, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. If you think that I'm in here to motivate you right now, you're an absolute idiot and you don't know me. My goal is to hijack your fucking brain and the, the, the success that you don't have right now, the one that you want, I'm actually gonna give you a shot at it. And either you want it or you don't, okay? Winning, in the book Relentless by Tim Grover, it says winning doesn't recognize you. The goal wasn't to read the book, the goal was to live the fucking book. So it's like winning is like a camera. It's like looking around, it's like Fuck you. All right, she wants it, I like her, he's out. You're, it watches you. I always say this, and by the way, I'm gonna be really raw because we're either gonna grow or we're not. You guys feel me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I like being around real people and I like people that are successful. I just want me to give it to the way that they perceive it. The way that I'm talking to you is the way that I hear things when someone's talking to me. I have a dark side. I told you guys, I live 50% in the dark, I live 50% in the light. Okay, you're all different. You're all you know, different than me, but what I learned is that your, your mind's made to delete information, okay? You got 60 to 70,000 thoughts going through your head a day. You're the fucking gatekeeper to your mind, not me. Dude, if he can't get his shit together in his head, he can't blame it on his wife, can't blame it on his fucking boss, can't blame it on the economy, the market. It's his fault. He's the gatekeeper. Dude, you are in charge of your mind. If you're not happy, it's because of fucking you. Ain't anyone else. I didn't fuck you. You fuck you you yourself and so your greatest responsibility I said it a minute ago and I'll say it again is to be in control of your own thoughts so I'm gonna explain something really easy I'm the gatekeeper my mind can only hold so much real estate I'm really careful about what I let into my mind and if you let something bad in there you're the one that let it in there okay if you're doing something stupid it's because you thought something stupid you let something in there that's your fault. So I want us to all look in the mirror and I'm gonna start with that. Life will give you who you become. That's it. That's the fucking message. And I'm gonna give you multiple ways to think about it, but, but who you become will determine what life gives you. Okay, there's this thing called your ethos, your core, who you are. Um, I, I 50 x my income. You want to know the strategy? I changed my intentions man why don't anybody talk about that like what's his intentions dude when somebody does something and they hurt me you know the first thing I ask did they mean to do that some of you guys someone fucks up and you hang them they didn't even mean to fuck you they're just a human just like you are you hurt people every day and you don't mean to am I right yes. okay so number one we need to fucking mature we all need to mature. And so the, the first thing that I think of is that like, when I 50X my end, I went from making two and a half million to nine figures plus. How did I do that? I changed my intentions. I actually changed, which I needed to do for 39 years. The problem with that is, you gotta really fucking change. My point is, is that look, you can say that you change, but when you really change, everything will change. So my number one goal for you today is to tell you how to become successful. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Right, you got to train. 
That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. So the world will give you what you become. So there's this thing called a wish. How many of you wish you had a different life? Well, there's this thing called fucking work, and most people won't fucking work for it. They wish for it. Does that make sense? Yep. There's this thing called the success clock. Everybody say success clock. Success clock. Okay, success clock. How fast do you want success? You want fast wins or slow wins? Fast. All right, you got 24 fucking hours right now. When you get out of here, how much of that clock are you going to work? It's a success clock. Don't bitch when it takes you 15 years and one other dude gets it in a year. Don't bitch. Dude, this is why me and my wife set family goals together. Okay? This is the reason why when you go for something big, you have to plan together. She's like, hey, babe, we're going to buy this thing. We're going to pay it off in 18 months. The next 18 months, we're going to be, need to be really intentional about what's going on. We're going to be working 13 hours a day, and when you're at work, you're going to work. And you're going to give it all you got, and you're going to empty the tank, and you're going to play with all your passion, and you're going to have a good attitude, and you're going to be the greatest there ever was. But the second you get home, you're going to put your phone down, and you're going to be present. We got an hour to be present. One hour. Guys, I can spend 10 minutes with my wife, and I can get closer to her than most of you could get three hours with your wife. It's called intentions. When I'm with her, I'm with her. You wanna fucking beat everybody? Just be where you are. I'm gonna give you an example. Some of you are in the room right now and you're not even here. Your mind's somewhere else and the reason why you're easy to fucking beat is because you're never where you are. I won't steal my wife's shit, but I'm known to fucking do it. She can't ever tell me anything, but she'll be like, Andy, so I want to talk about this later, and I'll fucking repeat everything she said. And I can tell she's like, <laughs> I'm like, you're the best, greatest coach ever. We fight over books. Those are yes. Books. Oh, my God, dude. Me and my wife, look, okay, so number one, I'm going to give you some things. You want to change the person in the mirror, right? My man here says you got to change your identity. He was somewhere. He was, the, he was my dude. He goes, when you change your identity, your identity term determines what you're worth. You'll never out-earn your own self-worth, you'll never out-earn your own self-image, and you'll never out-earn your identity. I know I talk about fitness a lot, and people are like, all right, enough with the fitness, let's get to money. Mother you look at yourself when you get dressed in the mirror, am I right? Yeah. And by the way, just so everybody's aware, if there's a day that you don't look at yourself when you get dressed in the mirror, you have a real big problem. That means you don't even wanna fucking see yourself anymore, okay? That means you don't even wanna see yourself. Who? Who are you with the whole life you're living? Yourself. You. Dude, when you don't like you, how do you think you treat everyone else? Dude, the times that I was a piece of shit to my wife was the times that I didn't like me. Jackie tried to be in the best mood ever for me, and it still wasn't enough until I got a hold of this mother demon right here. And I want to tell you guys something. Listen to me. The devil, he'll, he'll destroy everything. And the first thing that he attacks is your greatest weapon. Well, actually, your two greatest weapons, your mind and your heart. And so like, so you got to clear your heart out, right? That's one. Number two, you got to realize your greatest weapon is your mind. And all of you in here, dude, I know this sounds crazy. I'm going to go back to when I was 19 years old. Okay. My manager taught me that you got to be delusional. Like delusional, like Andy, like whatever you think's gonna happen. And I know it's the secret, it's the law. Listen, if you don't believe in the law of manifestation, because you don't believe it, you're getting what you don't fucking believe, it's still working. Huh. Wow. You just fucking bit the shit end of it. And I'm getting the good fucking end. If I'm like, dude, whatever I say is gonna fucking happen, it'll fucking happen. And you're like, bullshit. Okay, cool. You fucking live that and I'll live this. Like, you're an idiot. That's like Brad Lee. I was just on a call with him last night. And uh, we, were, we have a big mentorship program called The Revolution, right? And we're talking to these people. And this guy was debating about God. And Brad goes, well, listen, uh, I believe in God. And if I die and God isn't real, I won't know because I'll be dead. But if God is real 
and you don't fucking believe, you go to hell. I think I'll fucking believe. He's like, it's just the law of fucking, you know? He's like, listen, I really believe, you know, his daughter, Chloe, fell in a pool, was in the water for two minutes underwater. Two minutes, they watched on the camera. Not then, but later they went back and replayed. She fell in the water, she was in for two minutes. Who can hold their breath for two minutes? I can't. What about a two-year-old? They pulled her out of the pool and beat the water out of her, she's alive. Two weeks later, she's in the bathtub and she's saying Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Dude, ask Brad, he'll tell you the story. And he's like, we never told her that. She don't even know what that is. And, she, and, and Melissa, which is Brad's wife, is like, who's, who's Yahweh? And she's like, that's my friend. He, dude, I'm trying to tell you if that isn't enough. But the point is, is that Brad says, let's say we're all wrong, right? What happens when you don't believe? Listen, listen, I'm just trying to tell you, you guys can debate whatever the f*** you want to debate in your head. I want to tell you, if the law of manifestation is real, right, which it is, which means if you don't think it's right, if you don't think it's going to happen, it just won't happen because that's what you thought. But if I think it's going to happen, then it's going to happen. So rule number one is everybody needs to wash their fucking brain in this room. You've all been programmed. You've all been programmed since you were born by the that you've seen, the relationships you've been through, the people you fucked, the people that fucked you, all the shit you've gone through. And you can do this simple little thing. This is a little computer motherboard here. You just delete it. And you're just like, because you can delete anything. And you just restart. And that's called total recreation. And I literally looked in the mirror. I didn't like me. And so I decided to become a new man. I call it total recreation. Call it whatever the hell you want. And it's basically killing off the old you, okay? Go, anybody, for homework, go back to YouTube. Look, five years ago when I started my journey, I had hair, I was fat. Hi, my name is Andy Elliott. I'm gonna show you the typical mistake, which is salesman negotiating down. I didn't even sound the same, and my energy. I saw the future you. Yeah, well, you, you guys know, like, like, it's why everybody's losing, though, because nobody's around people that are telling them the truth. And by the way, even if something's a lie, but you believe it, the lie becomes the truth. Okay? You're a fucking piece of shit. If he believes it, he becomes a piece of shit. If you believe, if you believe hey, you made the worst decision of your life. You shouldn't have switched companies, man. This still isn't going to work out. Believe it. You're done. You're done. Doesn't even matter how well the company does. He's out. But if someone in the back of the room that's not even successful, has zero money, they're dead, broken on E, and they're lost, but can say, you know what? I'm gonna fucking steal the way this guy thinks, which, by the way, you can do. So everybody's aware, what I do for a living is I model proven behaviors and methods and identities. I hijack the way people think. So I'm like a human being, you guys are too. So I watch people, and when somebody thinks better than me, I'm like, dude, I'll take that. When somebody treats their wife better than how I treat my wife, I'm like, dude, I'm taking that. When somebody treats their children good and they're doing something different, I'm taking it. Whatever's good for me, I'm gonna take, and I learn it from other human beings. I also learn that God put certain people here that aren't successful, that don't have good marriages, that literally aren't their kid's hero, that don't make a lot of money. And I believe those people are here to be examples of what it looks like if we don't get our fucking shit together. Yeah. You're gonna look just like them. Hey, you know what a loser is? You know what a winner is, right? If you wanna become a winner, you just flip what a loser is. That's how easy this fucking is. Now, there's this thing called the success clock. And I just want you to know, everybody, please write this down. Because I want you, and I, and I know, because this is like this three, four month in thing that we're just starting, you must know the build is the bitch. You must know it. If you think it's easy, if you underestimate the amount of effort that it's gonna take to get this fucking life you want, that will be the one thing that took you out, was your underestimation. Marriage is hard, being a parent is hard, and getting fucking rich is hard. You know why it's hard? It's worth it. Because it's worth it. If it was easy, nobody would even fucking want it. You know why everybody wants a great marriage? Because everyone else has a shitty one, okay? Everybody wants the thing they can't have, and the thing that you guys can have is actually really fucking simple. It starts right here in understanding that you're worth it, you're capable, but you gotta fall in love with learning. If you're not coachable, you're done. 
and by the way pride ego entitlement those are the things that will take you out I swear ego will kill you some of you in here you think you can't get taken out and I love that confidence shit, but I mean ego ego is the death of everything and you can never become ungrounded let me let me give you some some laws of making money for decades that I believe and I haven't made money I've made a little money for a long time but I mean I, I made a couple million but not nine figure money for long so I'll see if this works uh, two two decades from now I believe you can never become ungrounded okay listen when you're listening to me the whole reason you change is because people should want to look up to you and want to can be you that's your goal you want to get successful you want to be rich you want to change people's lives you want to live a life that counts want to look in the mirror and ask yourself am I human excellence am am I do I look like it am I taking care of myself how can I get on the phone and tell people I'm gonna take care of them when I'm not taking care of me now listen super important someone's in this room they're not taking care of themselves they're, they're not financially you know making good decisions you're not taking good care of your person you're in a relationship with you're not close to God you've been being really fucking shitty to you you just change you don't put your fucking head down listen you know what the devil wants you to do quit I swear to God you never lose until you quit I'm, I mean it guys and I'm gonna tell you I truly think the most fucked up person in this room is gonna create the biggest fucking the testimony the story Be because listen man like dude just so you guys are total fucking transparency 10 years ago I almost went to prison super important guys if you're watching this video right now and you're like Andy I'm not built like that bullshit yes you are okay, got to train that's the way it works train or complain it's your choice okay every day I train the greatest in the world you know what I mean are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history if you are in the description box below on this YouTube video there's gonna be a little link you click on it enter your phone number email full name and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours if you're serious about kicking some ass going to the new level recreating next version of yourself I'm your guy let's kill it okay like FBI showed up by the company I was working for and like I realized that man like I didn't even know we were doing anything wrong and I'm like Fuck, we're doing shit wrong and then they're like you can go to fucking jail and then all these guys are like liar I'm gonna kill you and I am like how the fuck did I get around this and then you know what I realized my wife told me to not hang out with these fucking people secret <laughs> listen to all the men to all the men in the room I'm gonna give you the greatest secret you'll ever have are you ready listen it fucking pisses me off how right she is but I want to tell you a rule by the way women your job for when I'll start with the women first women your job is to understand who you tell your man is who he'll become so if you fucking hang your man on all the mistakes he made don't be fucking surprised when he doesn't change and he stays a fucking piece of shit. okay the cool thing about Jackie is when I fucked up she goes hey I'm not gonna get historical I know who you are and I know who you're gonna become now let's go get it I needed that I needed that I needed her if I had 10 million cash or Jackie saying I'm proud of you I'll take that I'm proud of you and women listen your guy will tell you that that's not right nah babe nah I don't need you fucking bullshit they need you to look at them dead in the fucking eye and grab their face and be like you're a fucking killer you hear me but you don't do that no you just tell us but you tell us everything that we do wrong you got to be real careful I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna tell you a story when my son he's 13 now he's getting hair on his balls he's going through tests no he's just like man shit's changing and and me and Jackie are like He's going through puberty and and he's just really rebelling does that make sense okay but I want to tell you something you're gonna learn this really quick by the way this is for the ladies this is for the ladies this is real talk and by the way you can tell your story however you want but this is gonna make sense so my son is rebelling and he's really uh, pulling away from me he's, he's pulling away uh, from Jackie and I'm like dude where's our kid who's got kids raise your hand okay you guys can I don't know if you can relate to this remember I told you this builds the bitch guess what I've taken everything away from him listen I took his phone I took his dirt bike 
I took everything. I took his games. I took his TV. Take, 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 take. And I'm going to tell you, I learned a big lesson, and I'm through this. I looked back four years ago, and I was looking through my phone, and all I see are pictures of me and my son. That's all I see. It's all I see are pictures of us. It's just me and him. I built this business. I'm still with my family. But I looked up, and I realized he's, he's not in my fucking camera roll it on anymore. No. It's this shit's fucking hard. Building a business is hard. It'll take every thing from you and we're always learning and what I realized is that my son I don't need to take shit away he fucking is mad at me I don't fucking show him that love that he needs at 13 and so instead of taking shit away and punishing him he needed more love I shifted immediately I went and woke him up uh, I asked Jackie I said hey man I said this is my fault dude I said I need you I need you and I know you need me I love you, I know you're mad at me, you don't even have to tell me. I know, but I'm gonna be with you now. You're coming everywhere with me. And dude, listen, in a matter of three days, three days of me showing him that he was more important to me as my son, that son that I wanted is back. That's it. So if, if women, like, you can keep taking it away. You can take away sex. You can take away, you know, being loving. You can get mad at us, but sometimes we're dudes and we're trying to be savage for you guys. And, you know, we got the whole fucking world and we're competing with male dominance. We're doing all this. And honestly, like, sometimes we just need to be reminded how much you fucking love us. And just a couple days of you showing us, dude, boom, we come back out. And that man that you want was sitting there the whole time. So, so that's something for the ladies. Now, for the men, because this is important, my wife, because I have a problem being present. Yep. You guys know what I mean? Yes, sir. Okay, and by the way, women have a problem being present too. But, but, but I have a problem. My wife, okay, I'll walk in the door, and guess what? You know what love eyes are? Like, you know, like when you love each other, you have these eyes. When he looks at you. trying to get the girl. Like, like, yeah, when you're like flirting, you're having fun. So when I, when I come home, I walk in the house and my wife's like, no ways. Turn around, go back out. I want your eyes. You're not here. Go back out. And I'm like, babe, come on. She's like, go out. Come back in. You're home now. Listen, listen. You were at work for 12 hours. You fucking gave it all you got. I'm proud of you. But now you're home. So like, like I need you fucking here with me, okay? So she'll send me back out. And no, like literally, like you, sometimes guys need to be treated like a little fucking kid. And, 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 and she's not getting on to me. And she doesn't, she doesn't wait till there's a problem. She checks it early. And then I walk back and she goes, all right, come here. I see him now. There's those eyes. And then I'm like, it's like fucking walking up to, you know, like a, like, like a little teddy bear. And dude, listen, I know this sounds stupid and corny, but life is so, it's such a grind. You know what I mean? It's like we're giving everything we got. You got to keep those little fun things in there like that. So if you want to know how to win, like you got it. If you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. You know, people that uh, are going to marriage counseling and, you know, they're not fucking getting along anymore. Just Jackie's always like, just let's treat each other like we did the first day we met. And like, watch what fucking happens. Oh shit, now we're falling more in love with each other, we're good. And then she's always like, be where your feet are. This is the big one. You guys, the success clock. Okay, if you want to really build faster than anyone else, which I know you do, you will work in the morning. You will work in the day. And you will work in the night. These will be the rules to cut the, the time frame. Does that make sense? Yeah. You want to turn decades into days? That's it. There's no other way. There's no other hack. Smart work, hard work, all in one, full momentum, 25 7, 365. You got to shove it down their fucking throat. That's it. That's it. Now, you're going to have these hours. 
with your kids by the way fitness just so everybody's aware getting fit four percent of your day is one hour don't fucking tell me you don't have time to work out don't don't even fucking start that gives you 23 more hours to do whatever the fuck you want does everybody understand what dopamine is yep. endorphins yes. okay oxytocin yes. serotonin yes. these are chemicals that your body replace that, that your body makes it, they release and when you work out and you do shit that's hard and you do it intentionally listen people think fitness is about a six-pack look I, I want to be proud of me and I want to be a walking bill billboard and I want to show my customers that I am like a leader right because I take care of myself so I can take care of them and you guys can all do that right now but also like when I work out in the morning before the day starts just so everybody's aware it puts me in the best mood ever ever I can close anyone I can present better it's like my words flow like water it's like dude I feel more confident my eyes are sharper my body language my tonality all these micro skills head knots to posture to shoulders to hands to feet to the way that I move the way I love people that how, me being a little bit more forgiving me having a little more grace when there's a mistake somebody could cut me off before the gym I'd be like Fuck you you cut me off after the gym I'm like what's up it's like it's like no it's because the oxytocin the chemicals release and it's a love chemical and it makes me want to love people but the gym when you do shit that's hard it's like a runner's high when you push yourself into your skeletal system where your body's working hard it releases these chemicals and these chemicals they're good for you and they make you feel amazing and you want to treat everybody else good look Jackie's my responsibility to bring home good shit to my family and my children. That's my job. The gym helps me bring that to them so they can have amazing days. My chemicals that I get, my biological reward, that's a reward. When I do hard shit, I get the reward. And then when they see me with it, they get it too. All day long, I'm on the phone. Everybody always, dude, I swear to God, if you guys sit in here, I'll close 10 for 10. I don't give a who they are. I'll close 10 for 10 on anything. Why? Because it's called the fucking invisible. I make people catch fire. I can talk about any situation. I can talk about anything. I can paint a picture, tell a story, sell idea, an idea, sell a situation. I can influence and I can persuade because I have these chemicals that are flowing through my veins and people are always like, how do you do it? How do you stay that way? Well, 4% of your day, got to go to the gym in the morning. Don't care if you want to get in great shape externally, what it does for the chemical releases, the fucking mind, physical, mental business. If you don't physically get fit, you're mentally never going to be strong. You'll never kill it in business. You'll never. And if you get, if you're the best in here at what you do and you compete against someone who is in shape, they will destroy you. They will. It, it's just the way it works. Do you guys do face-to-face -face Zoom meetings, yes or no? The more attractive you are, the more, the more they say yes. Am I correct? Yes. I know. People are like, Fuck. It's like, I know. I know. Hey, I can't get better looking. I can't. I guess you can change your face nowadays. But if you change your body, dude, have you ever seen someone when they lose a little bit of weight, their jawline changes, their cheeks change, everything starts to change? And everybody's like, you look so pretty. You look so cool. Dude, they were supposed to fucking look like that. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. <laughs> right? And, and so anyways, so the biggest change that I had, the biggest change that I had, um, and all of you guys are all in a different place, my physical transformation brought on a new identity. Um, and you can go look at my, go to YouTube, type in Andy Elliott later today. Just, this is homework. Uh, go, go, old, go to videos, go oldest to newest. Go oldest. Look at her and, and look at me. He looks way more different than I do. And, no, no, no. <laughs> she looks like a little house on the prairie. Okay? 
And she's not a prude, she is a freak, okay? Sorry, that was just, I had to let everybody know, it's important. Uh, that's important to me, all right? And I like to share everything. And Jackie's like, why do you gotta tell everybody? I was just talking to him about him at dinner. She's like, why, why do you gotta fucking tell everybody everything? I'm like, I don't know, I thought it was just exciting. I wanna share it with everybody. <laughs> but that's a good leader. A good leader is not secretive. A good leader, he doesn't wanna, cause, cause I just wanna share everything because I wanna be so open. I wanna be the realest motherfucker that anyone's ever seen, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so with Jackie, um, when I changed, she also changed. Listen, my wife is a savage. She's an alpha, but even alpha women still want a badass motherfucking man, okay? Like, guys, like, listen, my wife runs our house, but she still wants me to be the man of the fucking house, okay? That doesn't mean that I call the shots. We call the shots. And by the way, her intuition is way better than mine. And we've established that a long time ago. Just like when I almost got in trouble and almost went to jail. This, oh my God, I, I, thank God I came back to this because I got ADD. The, the biggest thing that men need to know is that your wife's job is to protect you. Your wife's job isn't to give you what you want. And, and, and me, you may have 100 people that work for you and you're used to them telling you yes. Yes, listen, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Then you come home and it's no, 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 no. And you're like, what's your fucking problem? Because, and, and honestly, listen, I told Jackie one time, and I'm gonna tell you why I got in trouble. And by the way, this is a past, but it's good for me to go back because some of you may be living this. Jackie's job was to protect me and make me strong. And one time, she was telling me all the time, like, don't hang out with those people. I really don't think they're in the best intentions for us. I feel like long term, like, this isn't a good play. I think we should do. But I was making good money, right? And so I was like, oh, babe, come on, man. I know what I'm doing. And she wouldn't stop. And she wouldn't stop. And, she would, and that's her job to protect me, right? And some of you, maybe you've been told something 50 times now. And I fucked up. And I said, babe, I'm tired of you nagging me. And maybe you might have said that to your wife or your girlfriend or something before. Listen. So you know what she did? She gave me what I wanted. She stopped telling me when she saw me about to make a mistake. And then guess what happened? Almost went to prison. By the grace of God, I didn't. I went home and Jackie goes, we're gonna tell the truth. We're gonna do things fucking right. You're not gonna be with those people and whatever the consequences are, I support you, I want you to change. And I did. And it's crazy when you start doing the right thing and you start getting around the right people, how the right shit starts happening. And then I got into self-development and then I took my family with me and then me and her made decisions together and sacrifices and grind and push. And, and, and then we built this fucking big ass business, which everybody said, I wouldn't do that if I was you. And we did it and we have it now. And so I wanna tell you, like, be very careful that when, you're, when your partner's nudging you, it doesn't always mean that they're right, but there's gotta be some truth to it. Let's play this out. You guys don't look in the mirror, okay? The world's gonna give you what you become. Don't look in the mirror. Don't own your shit. Don't solve your own problems, okay? If this is fitness, faith, finances, fun, fantasy. Family. There's gotta be another one. No, my bad, that was me and her. Family, oh yeah, I forgot about the family. And sex, all right. So, so family, if it's all those things, we must embody those things. Am I right? Yeah. Please do me a favor. If you remember one thing with me, it's this. At least you know what you have when you meet me. I love that about Jackie. She's like, if people think I'm a bitch, at least I'm not fake. Yes. Even, even, listen, I'd rather you be a bitch. But Jackie, if she walks up to a woman and she's not smiling, Jackie will say, take that resting bitch face off your face. <laughs> like, seriously. No, and somebody like, I can't believe she would say that. No, you look like you don't give a fuck about anybody. Okay, so like, smile. Yeah. There is attractive women that don't smile and it makes them look like they're too good for people. And they're really not too good. They just don't fucking smile. Jackie's like, if you smiled, people would be more approachable to you and you would go further. Okay, like, yeah, they just judge you wrong. That's not really who you are. And so like, me and her were just ultra direct, right? But. But no matter what anybody thinks about you guys, if you embody these five Fs, if you embody your core values, your standards, your beliefs, you have to live that way until you die. Don't ever let someone, how do I know you're not a leader? Double standards. You fucking tell me to do something and you don't do it, you're not the leader. 
You're not. You're done. You're not my leader anyways. You might trick someone else, but you, don't, you won't trick them for long. And so, like, just whatever you stand for, here's what I want you to do. Just fucking live by it, okay? And honestly, I swear to God, I, that's why I love Brad Lee, is that this, and he taught me, he's like, just be fucking you, dude. And what does that mean? I, I, don't, I don't like that shit. Well, I'm just trying to be me. No, be the greatest version of you. Like, so get fit. Build a marriage that everyone else in the company wants to have. Don't, if I try to hold hands with Jackie and go to church and we're fighting, there's no church, okay? We're not going to act like fake fucking people in a building like we got our shit together. She's like, I'm not fucking going in there. We're not going out on the date. We're not going to the party. We're going to fight and get this shit right. Like, and we don't fight for victory. Me and Jackie fight for resolution, okay? Like, fight, if someone wins, no one wins. I learned that with her. Okay. And by the way, you know what true love is if you're in a relationship with anybody? It's giving the, the power to someone to hurt you, like giving them the power to hurt you, but knowing that they won't. She's, yeah, giving me the power to take her out. And she can take me out. But we don't. Okay? Some of you right now, I want you to think about your partner, and then we'll go to Eric. If someone called them a bitch, what would you do? Yeah, but what if you're the one? Being a fucking ass to him. That was me. That was me. I was looking around like, who fucked me? Who, who's fucking me? That's some of you right now. Why am I not successful? What's the fucking thing? And I went right here to the fucking mirror and I realized that all these holes were me. Here's the cool thing I fixed my mind, I fixed my heart, I wrote out my standards. I decided, what is my ethos? What do I want? Like, listen, no tricky shit. What's important to you? Dude, you can get it all. You guys, listen, you can build this big ass business that's gonna take every hour of your fucking life. You can give an hour to the gym. You can give an hour to your kids. You can give an hour to your wife. You can build this shit, but they got, you gotta be on the same page together. You can get six hours of sleep a night and you can build a fucking badass life and you can destroy this time that you're alive. And do listen to me. What will take, by the way, the opportunity is here right now. Right. Yeah. Everybody get this. People are like, well, should I go all in? Should I, should I take the risk? Should I really do this? Should I quit my job? How about this? Yeah. The opportunity is so fucking great right now. Watch. I know there's some risk. We fucking took a shit ton of it. And guess what? That's why we won, is because we took it when the risk was high and the opportunity was high. But if you're waiting for the risk to come down, if it ever does, I promise you the opportunity will be zero. Okay, so some of you guys are gonna fucking wait around and you're gonna look up and in three years, you're gonna see a lot of fucking people that have your life that you were supposed to have. And so I just think, I think we can all have it all. Um, we're the only thing that can stop us, right? Go look in the mirror like me. I still mess up every day. I told you about my son. This was last week, okay? The person that can self-correct is forever wealthy. You gotta be able to self-correct, okay? Self-assess all day, every day. And by the way, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Don't fucking overthink it. I love that he says you gotta have fun because it's not fun worth it if it's not fun. My wife says dating isn't a f luxury. It's mandatory. And some of you are like, we're in this stage. No, dude, dating is mandatory. It's not a luxury. It's not going on vacation isn't something you do with your family. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like we got to and give everything that's important to us everything right now. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And that's how we built this. So some of you guys have worked for money and you guys have f everything up in your life chasing money. And for the first time, you can have everything else that you want and all you have to do is get better so you can earn the money and put the time in. And the more of the success clock that you'll work, the quicker you'll get there. And then I want to say one more thing. There's this secret to scaling and it's called never change back. And so, and so when you change, if how we've scaled is that we don't ever change back, okay? Like when I come from this guy to this guy, like I don't go back to being that guy. And, and to me, that's the most hurtful thing that happens to families is a man will change and then he'll go back. I'm gonna get in shape and then I go back. And it's like all these false promises just create resentment and in companies and teams and families and let's just, Let's just never change back, ever, ever. 
And understand the devil came to kill, steal, and destroy, and he's going to send people across your path to fucking take you out. Okay? And his greatest tool is to keep you average. Remember, the God of this generation is comfort. Okay? So, so if you're seeking comfort, like, I want to be financially fucking free. Listen, dude, you're going to work your ass off for five years. Do you understand? Do you get it? Ink up for that, and you'll fucking make it. I swear, the more uncomfortable you'll be, the more comfort you'll find. The more comfort you choose to find, the more uncomfortable you're going to be. Look, the whole world wants comfort. I don't want it. I don't want, I want shit to be hard. Why? Winners live where quitters quit. So where everyone else quits, where everyone else says this is too fucking hard, I want to live in that zone because that's fucking payday zone. You guys get it? Yeah. Okay. That's really good. Really awesome. Yeah.